All right, so the goal for this next step after you've done the assembly is you're actually creating a drawing file with the with multiple sheets. It's going to be one drawing file. The way that you produce an assembly file and a part file, we're going to create a drawing file. And within one drawing file, you're going to have multiple sheets. The first sheet is going to be two views of the assembly because the drawing file, you can put in the part file, uh, an assembly file, or a, a presentation file, which I'll show you in a second. They all can go into part files. I mean, all can go into drawing files. This is a, a sheet with a view of the presentation file, which the presentation file is like a uh, an exploded view. And then, then we're just gonna have a simple uh, sheet of each of the parts where if you did um, each of your five pieces as assemblies of blocks, that will be on here. Uh, you're not gonna do a drawing of a, or you're not gonna do a sheet of a, uh, the individual block. You're gonna do it of the, the piece which, uh, let's go three to one, and uh, 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 in lines, it's the top right for that one, okay, okay, and then another base view, uh, three block assembly, we'll choose custom view, and let's have this here. So this is, let's make that three to one, Okay, so that's what that would look like. But first, we need to make a presentation file, which is the fourth or third, depending, um, file type. The same same way you make a part or an assembly, with the tiny drop down, we'll get the default version of the presentation file. And first thing we have to do is create view. We will choose the file that we want to bring in here, and we can only bring assemblies into a presentation. And we're going to bring the assembly of all the pieces. I'm going to use the one where each piece is a, its own part file, not the block one. It doesn't make a difference. Um, actually, it does kind of make a difference, but, well, I'll show you in a second. So for this, the basic idea is you're choosing the file you want to bring in. You're going to open and OK, and it'll bring it in. And the the goal is to explode each of the pieces out so that you can show how they go together. And the way you do that is with the tweak components tool. And so you click that and anytime any tool window comes up, whatever button is selected first is what you have to deal with. In this case, you have to set the arrows. Uh, and you can see that if I put it there, Z is going up on the screen. But if I do it here, Z is going to the uh, front. And depending on where you put it, it doesn't really matter so long as it's a, um, a flat surface because you can change which direction it's going to move. So if I want this blue piece to go up, I'm going to set my directional arrows there. I now need to choose the component or components that I want to move. In this case, I want to move the blue piece, so I select that. And I've already got it going in the Z direction, which is up. And I want to go up, let's just start with uh, three, three inches. And we'll see how far that is. That looks fine for now. You can adjust it by finding the the end of the blue end of the trail there. You can fine tune it. And the whole goal is to find an angle of view and to spread out the pieces so that you can convey the information of how they go together. So we'll tweak the rest of them. Now let's tweak the green one. I need to select the green one again. And we'll go to Z direction. Z is still going to be out from whatever face. Let's just start with three again. And you can clear. You don't have to get close every time. Uh, let's have the pink one go that way. Let's have it go in the X direction. Let's just start with three. And uh, clear. And how about the gray one? Yeah, let's have that one go down. Have to go down so we can do negative three since the x arrow is pointing up. Uh, 
uh, but we want it to go down the drain. And hit close, and we'll zoom out. And you don't have to look at it from uh, the home view, the ISO top right. You, you can pick a different view, like a little bit lower, just by grabbing the cube and moving it around. You can also choose a completely different direction, just some, some angle of view that shows how, everything, how it goes together. And that's it for the presentation. We are creating this uh, puzzle cube, so it'll automatically save it as a .ipn. We are creating this for the sake of the drawing file, but you can also use this to animate uh, animate the explosion and create a video file of it. This is another another uh, file type or another way of communicating your your designs. But we are just trying to make it look good for the sake of a um, a drawing file. All right. So at this point, we obviously have all the part files or the pieces. We have the assembly. We couldn't have come to this part yet. And then we're going to put all those into a drawing file with several different sheets. The first sheet is going to be two different views of your assembly. The second sheet will be your the explosion view, the .ipn, the presentation file that we just made. And then the rest of the sheets will be one sheet for each um, part. Um, this is, you don't need to do two of any part, but this is just showing you what it would look like. Uh, if you did the block. Okay, so we'll start by creating a drawing file and it starts with just one sheet and we need to choose a base view. In this case, we'll choose the assembly, the full assembly, which looks like, do I have, there we go. And before you click OK, you can see what the preview looks like. We want to choose a custom view. So we'll click on this button right here. And for one of the two views, we'll choose a top corner. And then the other view, we'll choose the, we'll choose the other top corner. So the house is a, what's going on here? The house is a good place to start. Just the where it's there. We'll do finish custom view. And so it still looks a little too small. We're going to change the scale. Let's see what two to one looks like. Two is pretty good, maybe three. Well, we got a bit two of these on here, so maybe 2.5 for this. Just, you want it to fill the space, but not be too crowded. We also want to make sure that we have it shaded. So this button right here, make sure that's selected. And we want hidden lines removed. If you forget to do uh, hidden lines removed or forget to do shaded, you can change it. That's not the end of the world, but that's the setup that we want. So we'll go ahead and click once to, to create it. We'll do right click, cancel, and I guess I unselected shaded. So right click on it, edit view, and we'll turn on shaded, hit okay. All right, and let's do the other one. We'll go base view, choose the file, which is still gonna be puzzle, whatever the assembly is. And we're gonna choose a custom view. And we started with the house, so the other one is gonna be the one that's the opposite corner and do finish custom view. And we already have the same scale. We want shaded on and hit lines removed and try to line it up nice and pretty and right click cancel. And you will be filling out the text box here um, at the end, but I'll put the, the walkthrough of how to do that at the end. Okay, so this is the we can rearrange it. This is the first sheet. This is sheet one. And we will start a new sheet, new sheet. And then on sheet two, we are going to do base view. We'll open an existing file and we're going to find the .ipn file, which you can just go to all inventor files uh, or search. You know, you're searching for a presentation at .ipn. So we'll choose this one, hit open. You can see it comes up. It doesn't come up with the same view that we left it in the .ipn. So we have to choose a custom view, which for this was actually, this is where I left it. Proposes the way you left it. So you can just do finish custom view. 
or you can rearrange it if you need to. And in this case, it's definitely going to be a smaller scale than the assembly because it's more spread out, but one to one is still too small. So let's try two to one. You don't have to do two colon one, you can just do two. That looks a little big. How about 1.5? Uh, that's pretty good. And we will do right click cancel because we only want base view. And if you forgot to do shading or you left hidden lines on, you can always right click edit view and turn shading back on. And uh, the hidden lines removed. Hit OK. And again, you're going to fill in the text box. I'll show you how to do that later. Then the sheets uh, two through seven are just going to be of each piece. So now we're on sheet three. To go back and forth, just double click on uh, the sheet. And at base view, and let's look for part files. Uh, let's start with blue. Hit open. We need to choose a custom view. Uh, let's choose, we're going to pick two views that are opposite. So maybe this one and this one, that's not great. Maybe that and that. So let's choose this as our first one. And we want to shade it on, hidden lines removed. And 1.5 is definitely too small. Let's try three. That looks pretty good. Click there, set it, right click cancel. And then we'll do another base view of blue. Hit open, choose a custom view. We started with this. Let's go with that. Finish custom view. We're still on three to one. The shaded hidden lines removed. So I'm just going to put it there. Right click cancel. And that's it for that one. And then make a new sheet. Base view. And choose another part file. Choose custom. Uh, let's go with this as one view. And this is the other view. So finish custom view, still on scale, three to one, still unshaded, which is what we want. So you should be able to fly through this. Right click cancel, and then base view again. Same part, gray, open, custom view. And this is the first one, and let's do this as the second one. Finish custom view, and three to one also, right click cancel. Notice the orientate or the juxtaposition if these are the two views that you use, do not put them on the page like this. Eh. I guess that's all right. It still kind of works. Okay. So a couple of things that we need to, that are not uh, explained yet. First, the text box. You can go to uh, right click on in one of the sheets. Let's go to sheet one, right click, uh, edit sheet. No, it's not that. Which one is it? Right click. Um, uh, it's the first thing right up here. The title, you're going to do right click, I properties. You're going to go to summary and in title, you're just going to do public view. And that will, uh, you can, in author, you can. It'll come up with your ID number. You can just put your name in there and hit OK. And that will show up on every sheet. But because because each sheet has different that's, because each sheet has different stuff, you need you're gonna need to go on each sheet and go to annotate and get a text box. And if you do it the same way every time, it'll look the same on every sheet. Get a text box and then highlight this box entirely. And this will come up. And before you type anything, uh, do center left to right, center up and down. And I think the largest one will, uh, it works. And your, for this first one is assembly. Hit OK. There we go. And then right click done with the text tool. Sheet two, same thing, text box, um, highlight this box, center left to right, center up and down, largest uh, size, and uh, exploded view. Okay, 
of it, and then she th uh, right click done with the text tool. She threw it, and you can kind of see the pattern. Uh, we'll do for this one, highlight it with the text tool, uh, center left to right, center up and down, largest text, and then now we're going to blur to this fine. Okay, and then when you're done, the way you're going, well, first you need to save the file, which you'll save. Uh, in the same place you saved everything, which is probably just your, my documents. But that's the drawing file. What you're actually going to hand in is a PDF of the drawings, which the way you're going to do that is you're going to go up to the menu, which is the main thing. You're going to go to export as a PDF, and this is super critical. It won't work if you don't go to options and export all sheets. If you don't do that, you're just gonna export the first sheet and that's not the assignment. So you're gonna do options, export all sheets, and choose where you're gonna uh, save it to and you'll export it. And when it comes up, you will, you, the PDF is what you're actually gonna hand in and the PDF will be all of the sheets that are in your drawing file, which is going to be the assembly, the exploded view, and then one for each of the pieces in that order. Okay, so the tricky part is if you are doing a exploded view with um, each of the each of your five pieces as assemblies, the problem with that is you need to select all of the blocks before you tweak it in one direction. So first, let me, uh, let's go ahead and open up my puzzle cube block assembly. And let's put this back where it goes, which is that to that. Yeah, okay, save this, close it. And so in this presentation file, I'm gonna create view choose the file, puzzle cube block assembly, hit open, hit OK. And so just like for the other one, I need to tweak the components out and explode them out a little bit. I'll go tweak components, I'll set my directional arrows and choose the component. If I choose just one of the blocks, when I go to tweak that out, it's just going to tweak out the one block, which clearly is not the point. You're going to go tweak components, set your directional arrows, and for component, you need to go to the drop down here and the drop down there and find the entire uh, assembly. And then you can see it selected all of them and we'll tweak them out three and like that. Okay. And so for another one, go here, we need to select the green piece and we'll go up this way. Actually, I want it to go back that way. So we'll have it go X three and so on, and uh, so that's how you do that.